Hey, John. Zeus. Happy New Year. Oh, yes, my brothers. It will be happy Wildcat New Year. Which Roy both leads us to our first league championship in 10 years. Hallelujah. Later, boys.
once again, it would seem they forgot to announce the auditions for the winter musical Juliet and Romeo, written by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. It is a delicious neo-feminist adaptation of Shakespeare's classic tragedy, Starcross Lovers, with a brand new happy ending. <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football diamond. This year, as always, the drama club faces a shortage in male participants, so please come to audition. I'm offering you fun, glamour, and extra credit. Ah, the dreaded cell phone symphony. Champagne Ryan Evans, your phones, please. I will be seeing you both in detention. We have a zero tolerance for cell phones here at East High, Ms. Montez, and welcome. <laughs> Mr. Bolton, I see your phone was involved as well. Splendid. We see you in detention. Um, that, that's not even a possibility, Mr. Starbus, Your Honor. Sir, uh, because <laughs> Mitro, we have Mr. Basketball. Dan for 30 minutes. Count him. That could be tough for Chad since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention in my life. Well then, happy new year. <laughs> Saved by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention and have a wonderful day.
Should I go for it? I'm gonna shake this. Nice! <laughs> Talking about me, John. 
No way. Well, let's hear your animals make some noise. <laughs> doing here? I run my detention my way. You can run your detention your way. You three in the gym now. <sighs> All right, detention is over for today. I expect to see some of you tomorrow afternoon at auditions. Don't be late. It's good now. You've all been wonderfully. Goodbye. I need my star players in practice, not whatever. This was. And why should athletes get preferential treatment? Because I'm trying to teach these kids about having a goal, about teamwork, things they'll actually use as adults. Which is precisely what I am trying to do. How? By teaching them fairy tales and making them scream on the top of their lungs? Filthy drama queen! Another train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo start at 3 p.m. sharp. This is Jack Scott, over and out in a 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <laughs>
time for today. But do we have any last minute sign ups for Julia? Romeo? Anyone? No, I suppose not. Well then, watch the bulletin board for the callback lists. It should be posted tomorrow or the next day. Come so on now. The drama club needs more than just actors and actresses. It needs bands! Bands! If we can get the part. Kelsey! Kelsey! Darling! I've been in 17 school productions. And let's see, how many shows have you been? This should be the first. Which tells us that you are the more powerful witch. Witch! <laughs> <gasps> witch! It tells us that you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary. Are we clear? Yes, sir. I'm your babe. <laughs> nice talking to you. Love the glasses. <laughs> hey, so you decided to sign up? No, oh, no, I was just watching. What's going on here? You're not afraid, are you? You're the one that's afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. Okay, prove it. Fine. I'd like to audition to Starbus. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but the individual auditions are long over and there's no one to audition with you. Miss Starbus, oh. I, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing with her. Uh, Troy Bolton. Yes, well, I think they show just as seriously as your mother takes her basketball rehearsals. So, unfortunately, there is no time. Oh my god, I totally stuck. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You wrote that song on your page of sing? Uh-huh. And the entire show? Uh-huh. You guys want to hear that way that song is supposed to sound? Of course. Sure, yeah. Come on. And you did this all by yourself? Yeah, and it took me a long time too. And when Ryan on Sharpay did it, well, you saw how they sang it. <laughs> anyway, you go first. That's really nice. Thanks. It's hard. Sometimes in during biology class. 
or if it's easier, I can come to your house and give you a wake up call with my brand new accordion. It's mobile. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, thanks to the Horticulture Club. I come here when I want to be alone. Must be tricky being the coach's son. She's gonna freak when she hears about the singing thing. You're worried? Well, sometimes I don't want to be just the basketball guy. I just want to be, you know, me. I know exactly what you mean. On my other schools, I was always the freaky math girl. I hated it. But you can't let people stop you from what you want to do, right? Remember how cool kindergarten was? You'd meet somebody and 10 minutes later, we were best friends. Yeah, they didn't care if you could shoot hoops or solve equations. <laughs> right? So, you really want to do the callbacks? Hey, just call me, uh, freaky callback boy. <laughs> Thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. Just like kindergarten. Be your best friend. <laughs> Drawing Gabrielle from themselves. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, people, listen up. My watch says uh, 1,300 hours Mountain Standard Time. Are we synchronized? Save it for Charlie's Angels, Chad. Are we going on a me? That means goodbye. So. <laughs> the jocks and the brain just mingling in the study hall. They're up to something. <laughs> Ryan, we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and Tony Romas, okay? <laughs> but how? Hmm. I'll tell Darvis that Troy's mom wants to sabotage the auditions because she, because she gave him detention. I know, genius, right? Mm, not really, because it's a big fat lie. And besides, she'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. Yeah. Now, come on! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Legends won championships. But were you about some brainiac chick or auditioning for musicals? Do you think these paragons of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jobs or auditioning for musicals? I don't singing with you, and I said things I knew would chuck them off. Troy, this is crazy. Everyone is treating you differently now. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be the, just the basketball guy anymore. I'm going to sing. What about you? I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you And now looking in your eyes I feel in my heart The start of something new You guys, you're gonna be great! <laughs> but we don't have much time left. The callbacks are next week, but we still have a lot of work to do. But first, we have to talk to our friends. Yeah, we gotta tell them that we're gonna do the callbacks after all. Well, it's moved already. We're burning daylight. Come on! <laughs> Fast. I agree. 
we have something we need to tell you. Uh, hey Wildcats! It looks like we have a late-breaking Wildcat newsflash. The callbacks for Juliet and Romeo have moved up to... tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the same time as the Science Decathlon and Basketball Championship, but... I, I, I'm sorry, Troy, this is Jack Scott over and out. How can they do this? It's not fair. How can you be in the Science Decathlon? And win the championships? And audition for my show. We can't. Good luck at the big cake, Troy. And sorry about callbacks, Camilla. Sorry. You know, I mean, Sharpay was. Brian, where are you? Dropped over head of bird. Yeah, so, anyway, we made our decision. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Me too, guys. What? what? We can't be selfish. Not when our friends are depending on us. Right, Troy? Right. But, but you, you can't. can't! But we can't. See y'all later. Alright, guys, look. It's not right. Win or lose, we're a team. We have to figure out a way for them to do both. Huddle up! Down in split second. <laughs> Jack Scott can help us. He's announcing the game. But it's impossible. Leave it to me. I can do anything with my laptop. Go Bobcats! Yes, the day we all were on our own road. We didn't really know.
<laughs> well, it would appear you were right, Chalkhead. I mean, you have to give them a chance. Please, just two minutes. I'm sorry, right, Kelsey. Everyone watch the bulletin board for the actual cast list by the end of the week. Sorry, we're here. I called your names. Twice. Where were you? Please, give us a chance. A chance of what, Troy? For you to make a mockery out of something that means the world to me and your fellow classmates? But it's not a joke. What's this? A full house? Well, I suppose we can bend the rules just like that. Oh, Miss Doris, as president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. Miss Jarvis, Troy wasn't trying to sabotage the audition. Sharpay was lying to him because she was scared of losing the part. <laughs> Sharpay, is this true? Did you abuse your presidential privileges and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvised. <laughs> we will talk about this later, Miss Evans, for now, for now, off the stage. But I'm off the stage. Try get Riella, you may start your callback. But we don't have a pianist. I'll sing without music. Oh no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Dorvis. You really don't want to do that. Oh yes, I really do. <laughs> Go on, get Ready on the stage. Now that show is. It was so much easier when it was just you and me. Yeah, but then it is just you and me. Like kindergarten, remember? I'm right here. We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Captain. Hi, Chad. 
So, you're coming with me to the after party, right? Like, on a date? Must be like a date. Or yours. <laughs> Holding hands, I see. Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, I really like your music. I really like your voice. Really, you really do? Yeah, I've got a song for you. Come on. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to the weak sharp head, but I still think you're fantastic. You do? I mean, like, really? Like, <laughs> really, really. So about that creme brulee you were talking about. It's like kindergarten, right? Only better. 